Hello, welcome to 5 Minute Food and today a noodle soup that's inspired by a pho, a Vietnamese noodle soup that's practically the national dish of Vietnam. Now, this isn't authentic but it's going to give you those kind of flavours and all in 5 minutes. So let's go. Okay, I'm putting the heat on under the pan and I've got here a tub of ready-made stock. I've got beef stock. You could use chicken stock, even vegetable stock. And I'm just going to put that in the pan on a high heat because we want to bring that up to the boil as quickly as we can. So I'm hoping we can do it in the five minutes. I've got a nice wide pan with high sides. That's going to bring it up to heat the, the most quickly because it's got the biggest surface area on the bottom. Okay, well that comes to the boil. I am just going to squeeze in a clove of garlic. There you go. In it goes, and I'm going to add some ginger, and I'm going to squeeze that in as well, because um, normally I would simmer it long and slow with a slice of ginger in, but we don't have time for that in five minutes, so we're just going to squeeze it in. You just pop it, your lump of fresh ginger into your garlic press and squeeze it in, and that's going to give you the flavour much, much more quickly. There we go. And also, if you don't get any of those kind of stringy bits that you get if you chop the, gar- the ginger and put it in. Okay, just clean that out. I might pop a little bit more ginger in because I do like that ginger flavour. Don't use dried ginger though. This You really need fresh for this. Okay, in it goes. Fantastic, that's that. Red chilli. Very important to have some heat in this. You don't have to have a lot of heat. If you're, I'm not into really hot food. And... Um, So I'm just going to add a little piece and as always I'm going to taste my chilli to see how hot it is because until you taste it you can't tell. I've got a little scrap here. No, that's not very hot at all. That's fine. I can add more of this. If it was a really hot one I might just add two slices. That would be fine. Okay, that's coming. That's heating up nicely. Now, oh, the other things I'm going to add are a little pinch of Chinese five spice. The other thing you could use is star anise. Again, if you had more time, you could simmer a whole star anise um, in the liquid. But I find a pinch of five spice, which is a mixture of Chinese spices, including ground star anise, gives just the right flavour. So I'm just going to add that in. And about a tablespoonful of fish sauce. Okay. Two and a half minutes to go. Oh, my worry. Okay. There we go. But, oh, we're coming to the boil. That's fantastic. There we go. Okay. So, and then I just want some vegetables to go in my soup. Now, this soup's going to be served with the vegetables alongside for you to pop into the soup when you want them. So, I've got some bean sprouts here. Here we go. Some lovely fresh bean sprouts. And I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper but I'm going to cut it as thinly as I can so it has a chance to wilt in the hot stock and to kind of cook a little bit. You want a little bit of crunch, a little bit of give. And also some fresh herbs. This is just coming to the boil. It's just beginning to bubble around the edges. So I'm going to add my rice noodles. These ones here are actually the kind that have been par-cooked already, but you could use the, the ones that come dried in sticks. That would be fine as well, and they really should cook in the time. Okay, so I'm just putting those in just to get hot through. Okie dokie. There we go. So one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes. Okay, and the meat. I've got a beautiful piece of fillet steak here. I know it's expensive, but actually this piece of fillet steak would be enough for four people. Well, three people, maybe. And um, he's different nice. Uh, so, and I'm just going to cut it really thinly because this is actually going to just cook in the heat of the stock. What other meats would be good for this dish? Um, you could use cooked chicken. I wouldn't use raw chicken in the way I'm using raw beef. You could use leftover cooked chicken. That would be delicious. Um, maybe lamb. I'm not sure about lamb. I think lamb might have the wrong kind of flavour. Um, and certainly fish. Really great with corn, seafood, anything like that. So that's just coming to boil. How am I doing for time? Oh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Sorry, 45 seconds. <laughs> what am I thinking? Oh, cook up a feast in that. Okay, I've got some lovely herbs here some mint and some coriander obviously if you can get some of the oriental basil that would be fantastic as well but I've just got regular basil because that's what they have in my local shops but uh, so there we go 
So that's all that there. Okay, and I'm just going to pour this in, put most of the meat on the bottom, and that is actually just going to cook in the heat. Right, ooh, so scoop in some noodles. Oh, almost boiling over. Not boiling over, spilling over. So, here it is. There it is. Fast flow. Cutting the beef then really helps it cook in the stock, doesn't it? Really does. And look, don't forget some lime to squeeze over.